Welcome to another talk, talk with your stoned at home dad, Serge. Hi, this is where I review cannabis strains, I smoke them, then I talk and rant about bullshit I am not an expert on. What are we smoking today? Today we're gonna smoke Widowmaker number two that I got from Ganja Guys, and we're gonna talk about the Anchorage Museum. Into the strain review. Widowmaker number two, which by the way, we also have Widowmaker number four we're going to review tomorrow. Same cultivator, so we can see the difference. Okay, Widowmaker number two that I got from Ganja Guys has a total THC of 18.69. All right. CBD is at 0%. It is cultivated by Grateful Bud, and it was harvested on January, February, March, April, May 21st of this year. That's Rip it open and see what it smells like. That's not a rip. <sighs> Y'all, that's got lemon in it. Y'all, it's got some strong lemon in it. It's got citrus. It's sweet. It got some sweetness to it. Is that chem or diesel? Hold up. That's more chem. Yeah, that's more chem. Yeah, that's more chem. Mmm, damn, that smells good. I like that. Woo, you can really smell that citrus. Okay, I love the way it smells. But what's it look like? Well, let's take a look then. Buddy! This is a nice looking nug. The very top of it broke off. I don't know where that went, but you see a lot of hairs on this bud. Good amount of frost. Great trim job. I wish the top was on top, but yeah, we're going to take what we got. You like the way it looks? I like the way it looks. Looks good. I thought this was the other. There's two little buds. I thought this was the top of it. I'm like, no. I'm like, no, it doesn't match. No, it doesn't match. Oh, it stays. Oh, it's a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> All right. The Widowmaker number two apparently is a sativa. Widow, Widowmaker number four is an indica. They're both hybrids, I guess. They're crossed between Widowmaker strains and that's the thing. I'm not quite sure. I know they are some Widowmakers are normally crossed between AK-47 and you know some Widowmakers, but this Widowmaker number two, I don't know. I don't know, but we're gonna find out the big old difference for today and tomorrow. <laughs> All right, grind up your weed, get your grind out. Grind, 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 grind. Oh, that's a hard grind. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I got some sweaty hands. That's better. That's better. That's better. That's better. I am exhausted. I need to smoke weed. It's been like eight, nine hours. Shit. And I've been to the Anchorage Museum today, so that's what I want to talk about it. What do we got a little on top? Oh, we got a lot on top. Got a lot on top, but that's okay, because we're going to let it drop. Shake it, shake it. Flip it around. Flip, 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 flip it around. Ooh. Oh, it's got some... Oh, yeah, you smell that lime, man. It's a little stinky, too. That's that chem. That's that chem. Okay. Pack up your bowl. Pack up your pipe, whatever you like, because we're about to get hype and smoke to the light all through the night. However you like, gonna get it hype. All right, get your light. Er. My bowl is packed. Is your bowl packed? Let's cause an impact and let's fire it up, buttercup, and see what it tastes like. Good slow bird. Hit smooth. Tasting that sweetness. It's almost like grape, almost like grape in the back. And I can, I can. Yeah, yeah, that tastes like can. Okay, let's hit it again. Oh. 
Alright? Yeah, you can taste that fruity. You can taste the sweetness. It's not too fruity. It's a little bit to the grape on the back. You get that chem taste as well. <coughs> chem? Decent? It's chem. It's chem. It's chem. Okay. Or am I just trying to convince myself? <laughs> Alright, uh, let, uh, what are we doing? Shit, guys, I have not smoked in a while. Yeah, I need this weed to take effect. Okay, I like the way it smells, I like the way it looks, and I like the way it tastes. Let's see where it takes us. Alrighty, let's talk about Anchorage Museum, huh? Okay. No. <laughs> Anchorage Museum, went to the Anchorage Museum. I actually have a membership to Anchorage Museum that I renew every single year. If you should could do that, I highly suggest you do that. That helps them keep their exhibits open, changing exhibits, and continuing on staying open. Yes, COVID kind of screwed the whole things up, especially for the kids' hands-on type of areas, but now some of them are open. They got the earth, wind, <laughs> earth, wind, and fire, <laughs> and air, water, air, earth, stuff, whatever their sections are, they're open. Uh, you know, honor system. So, you know, if you have a vaccine, if you have the vaccine, you could go without your mask. If children that are 12 and under should have their masks on and, you know, they got their vaccine. Help me. <laughs> oh, okay. The Anchorage Museum is the biggest museum here in Alaska <laughs> from what I've seen and from what I've experienced. They have huge exhibits, all different, and they change as well. So right now in that main kind of um, the place where you eat, they're having a uh, Black Lives Matter, um, call it a, an exhibit, but they're showing all the different black people of Alaska. And they talk about, you know, how the military kind of came in. And I wasn't able to read them all because I got two freaking kids running around. They just want to... <laughs> but I did manage to take them all through the whole museum, even though they were like, no, but still, like, there's still parts. Look, I took two kids. I took an soon to be eight and soon to be nine, 10 year old, just a couple of days here. But I took them to the museum and one of them's autistic, still managed to take them through the whole thing. So that hands-on part, holy shit, guys. <laughs> here, I'm gonna I show some video. They got, they got the cool spinny thing that you guys can see right here, up here. I could pass playing on that for like 30 minutes. You see, look, look what I did. You see that? I put the little thing on top, the thing, dang, ding, 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 And uh, my son loves it as well. He loves, um, they got the, add a little ball, and it goes bouncing and all that stuff. So anyway, there's a lot of interactive stuff. There's also have uh, creatures there too as well. So they have uh, the chomper, the chomper, uh, a snapping turtle. They also have the, um, Big old crab and fish and they have starfish. Oh, I found this the starfish right here that was eating on uh, Eating on a mu on a muscle uh, So anyway, there's a lot of things to do especially for the kids area There's different sections. I didn't know much about Alaska Native history or really Alaskan history until I went to the Anchorage Museum and I learned about it and me being Russian, I didn't even know the impact that Russians had on Alaska. Like I knew they bought Alaska, but I didn't know what they did here in Alaska. And damn, I feel, <laughs> oh, I felt bad being a Russian. I'm like, damn, although, you know, that's, I suck. God, you know, we really crapped on this state. Oh, sorry. Anyways, <laughs> but you guys can learn a whole lot from the Anchorage Museum. Right now, they also have um, this whole exhibit on uh, women. So take your kids there. Uh, there's they have field trips there. I saw this. Uh, they had a field trip there when we were there today, and they had a bunch of kids and a field trip, some martial arts school or whatever. Took them on the field trip. It's pretty cool. They also have little. Um, oh, there's a whole lot at the museum. Shit. Anyway, I'm starting to get high now. No, oh, I'm feeling this week. Okay. Okay. Go to the Anchorage Museum. I suggest you guys really do head up the gift shop. They got some cool stuff at the gift shop. So, you know, money, they need the money to keep on making their exhibits. And like I said, their exhibits change. Last time we were there, which was like two months ago or something like that, completely different exhibits. There was, there was, it wasn't a woman's thing. There was something else. I forgot what it was. Also, it wasn't, there was no Black Lives Matter. Like, how they put that all together real quick. I was like, oh no, my gosh, we were only here. Like, it was like a month and a half ago. Or like two months ago. I don't remember. I'm getting high now. But they change the exhibits quite frequently. Quite frequently. Uh, they also have 
classrooms there as well that you could do. Oh, and the planetarium. Oh my gosh, I gotta shut up here. Damn it, you got the planetarium. They, they have a bunch, they have a bunch. So let me just say goodbye to Instagram, then I'm gonna get more into the, I'm gonna try and get more into what they have and talk more about the Anchorage Museum. Oh, and you know, admissions and all that. So anyway, Instagram, I'm starting to feel this way. Yep, shit, okay. Instagram, I'm sorry, I gotta say goodbye to you guys because Instagram doesn't allow for these 30-minute videos. So if you are on Instagram, jump on YouTube, jump on Facebook. I upload these 30-minute videos every single day. You can see me talk more about the Anchorage Museum, what they have, and you know, how fun it is, and some of the exhibits. Uh, did I take any more pictures? No, I don't think I did. So, and you can see the effects of this weed, which is starting to hit me now. Okay. Hmm. I'm feeling it. All right, till tomorrow, goodbye, say hi, hit it with me, hit it hard, and let's get stoned. Love, peace, chicken grease, bite, it's smooth. It's smooth. <coughs> Usually I go... Sometimes I even like, I realize with the smooth wheat, with smooth shanks, I'm like, it's almost like I expect to do it. So I'm like, do I have to? I like, I have to like <clears throat> try and push it out. It doesn't not come out. And what that noise is, if you guys do not know, is that's me actually holding my nose on the inside to allow any kind of noise to come out. Cause I used to be a stealth smoker. I used to have to smoke really quietly so nobody could hear. And yeah, that's why I, I learned how to do that. Holding the big rips, so they hit hard. Okay, let's keep talking about the Anchorage Museum. Anchorage Museum costs some money, but you can get a membership. We got the whole family thing. How much does it cost? I don't even remember. I think I, I'm not even gonna quote it. I'm not gonna quote it because I don't know. You guys can go online, find out for yourselves, and uh, yeah. Got a year membership, so now we can go, you know, all year whenever we want. Gift shop, gift shop. Let's talk about the gift shop. Good gift shop, all right prices. You know, gift shop prices are usually much more expensive, but you know, if you can buy something from them, please buy something from them. That just supports the museum and the staff and make sure that the staff gets paid, that they can afford to keep the lights on, the electric. This is a big ass museum, guy. It's a big ass museum. So, what exhibits do they have? Do they have? Do, 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 do they have? Uh, we could talk. I could talk a lot about the kids one. I could talk a long, long about the kids. Uh, but before I do that, let's bring him back. You go into the museum. You could check in. You go through. They got an elevator. Or you could go up the stairs all the way up to the fourth floor. Right now on the fourth floor, they have these audio type of box. The sound thing exhibit. The sound exhibit. Um, and it's just a bunch of boxes hanging from the ceiling and you just put your head inside you, know, you go inside the box It's a big box. You go inside the box and you hear different music tracks um, They also have that pulley thing upstairs at the very top floor So if a kid likes to you know do the pulley and then go up and then let go And it brings you down. That's fun. The third floor. That's where they have the That's where they have the women's exhibit um Go, go through there and like my kids can just pull me through and I'm like, I just need, I just want you guys to stop and understand and like, understand like the stuff that women have to go through. <sighs> Ran through there. Again, I really didn't even get to enjoy that. They got some cool seating there. Um, God, there was a lot of people. That's where like, that's where we saw the, the kids with the exhibit. So my kids were just like, it's too many people and we, they got out of there. Well, is that? Oh shoot! Hold on, I'm high now. Getting high now. That's on the third floor. Is there something else on the third? I think there might be something else on the third floor. I'm not quite sure. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it was just that woman's exhibit. Yeah, and then they. I do, oh yeah, I didn't check because then they had a 
They ran down the stairs. Um, <laughs> oh gosh, damn. Seriously, it's hard with two, with two kids. Like I would love to just walk through the museum and actually enjoy and read everything. Like the second floor has a lot of native and like Alaska, um, things from Alaska. Like we went down there and like, I'm just trying to show them. I'm like, look, this is some of the things that, you know, that, uh, that Alaskans wore back then. And like in this time, my son's like, <laughs> like looking at everyone I'm like, oh God. So, but even those sections, even like that place right there, like that second floor, they have a, a little area as well, where it's just like electronic books. They look pretty cool. And it's like all the famous people in Alaska. You could like read about them, just scan your finger, you know, and they'll, Flip the page electronically for you. It's a cool little interactive base. Oh gosh, I hate these things. What the fuck are they called? Okay, you know when you have to like move a block? Okay, it's a whole picture, but there's one square that's empty, and you just move the foot, move the things, and it's a puzzle, and you finally figure it out. But <coughs> sorry, I hate those. I don't like those. But they have a huge one and it's that one's cool that one's really cool we were playing with it and a whole bunch of more kids showed up and then they're just everyone's trying to move it around we're just like yeah you guys play so we walked away um but you're supposed to basically build a whole terrain a whole terrain with the lake and the mountains and stuff so i'm just like this is too complicated i'm like just asking kids to do this uh not really for kids. I mean, adults do it too. They had another little fire area, cool retro spot, you know, for like stuff from the old days with the TVs, old school TVs. And my son's like, huh? Because I've never really seen a box TV before. And uh, they had old school typewriters. Uh, you go down further on the other side. Um, they have a lot of Alaskan boats. Um, a lot of Alaska in school. I'm, I'm high now. I'm high. I'm feeling chill on this. I'm feeling chill. I thought this was a sativa though. Like I'm getting a little head buzz, but I'm honestly feeling it more in my body right now. Here in my shoulders. I have it's fine. It's feeling more of a hybrid than anything. Just like a pretty nice even hybrid. No, I'm not getting that body high. It's mostly working all up here. But I'm chiller now. I'm calmer now. Fuck, yo, my anxiety was uh, trying to manage this today. What else did they have? So that's that section. And then you could continue walking on. There's an art section, an art gallery. There's a, there's a couple of art exhibit places, but my kids would not go into that. Um, I tried. Even, even there was like one with a cool pink fluffy bear you know it's kind of like greeting you and they have huge beautiful uh portraits and paintings and i'm just like come on let's go try it and they want to go in so that's there and then what, what was that other place oh shoot oh yeah the theaters they have these little um guess you could call them a theater or something like that i don't know they're just they're like three different rooms with uh screens on them I didn't, I didn't have the fucking patience for this shit. Uh, sorry, like I just went in, we went into one of them, we sat down and all it was, it was just, like we were just there for like a minute, and, but this was a minute of this. And I was like, what the fuck, whatever. Sorry, this is just like, is this art? Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's, you're on a ship on a marine ship and you're in the captain's you know where they're like looking out in the out there and you see them just but it's like it was just them standing there and you're like in the back and you're just watching them but it's not it's not just one screen it was four fucking screens so on the top right it was just like you normally see and then it's like they took the took the image and then just like flipped it and put it on that one and then on that one it was like something it was like also flip and this one or it was not flip. i don't fucking remember now but it was just look 
It, and there were different fucking scenes. I, at first, I'm like, is it the same scene? I'm like, no, it's not. I'm like, there's different scenes. I'm like, what the fuck are we watching this shit for? I'm like, this is, what is this? What the fuck is this? Oh, like, I don't know. Anyways, so about a minute or two of this shit, I'm just like, okay, kids, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm like, I can't even <laughs> deal with this. I gotta, I gotta smoke some weed to fucking watch this because it's just like, <laughs> wow. Fun voyage. Yeah, okay. Um, it's just, it's, it's like, anyway, makes sense to some, not to me. Uh, what else? And that's, and then you go downstairs, that's where the Black Lives Matter section is. And I got to read, I got, started reading them, my fucking kids ran off. <sighs> Damn it, you like, you <laughs> just want to be an adult sometimes, you know? But anyway, you got you to gotta be responsible, especially once you got kids. So I'm going to talk about the, oh, and they also, uh, they have a cafe in that area. Um, and further, and you know, bathrooms and stuff. And further down, I know they have classrooms. I've been there before. Uh, where they actually do, you know, like class workshops and classrooms and whole things for kids. And anyway, uh, let's go to the fun area, the really fun area that my kids love. There's... The planetarium, which I have gone to, it is really fun. It is nice. It is nice. I we got to see, was it dinosaurs? I think it was dinosaurs or something like that. I've been in there twice. I remember. So, I like the whole thing. I wish it was a whole lot bigger, like a lot, lot bigger. It's not that big in comparison to some big old dome. It's a three sixty video that you get to see. Um, in the chairs, hard to, you know, depending on where you're sitting too. Wow. Cause like, depending on where you're sitting will also impact on like how well you can see, or you got to crank your neck or just like break your neck for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, but check it out. Try it. I suggest it. It's fun. I enjoyed it. Um, outside the planetarium, that's where there's the pretty much the hands-on exhibits, which my kids love, and I'm so thankful that they finally opened it up. Wow. So, let me hit this. Was it two months ago I've been there? I don't even remember anymore. Shit. Cause last time I went there, it was closed and you couldn't go in there. I'm like, okay. <coughs> but I did get my kids through the whole art section too. I remember that. They, they were like, ah, <laughs> like we don't get it. <coughs> okay. Um, what am I talking about? I'm high guys. Shit. My head's a little clearer. I'm feeling it, honestly, I'm feeling more in my body and just like now, it's just like the back of my head, like this buzzing noise. I've always had it all the time, but like with the sativas, it also goes bzzz. So, yeah, okay. It's good, it's good, it's good. I feel better. I feel better though, I feel better. Um, I, it doesn't help for pain though, I'll tell you that. I'm gonna need an indica or something like that. Um, and it's not completely calm me down. I still feel just a little anxious, but. Okay, okay, okay. Let's continue on. That section, that section, that section, that section, that section, the kids section, the hands up. What do you fucking call it? The discovery zone. Is it the discovery zone? I think it's called the discovery zone. The discovery zone. You check out the discovery zone. They got three sections. I'm gonna call it water or Fire, I don't know, or air, or something like that. I don't know. I forgot. They they have names for them. One of them is bubbles, bubble, bubble, bubbles. They've limit, uh, kind of a little bit limited, because they had this whole little. You could pick it up and make your own bubbles and stuff like that. They don't have that one. They have the one where you could pull on the pulley to try and make a bubble go around you. It's never gonna happen because just that platform is just way too big. Um, if their platform was a little smaller then I think we could possibly get the bubble because when you start pulling it up the bubble You know, it doesn't go straight up. It starts like curving into you and once it touches something it'll pop and that platforms down there They have another bubble that you could Also pull and it goes it Just a screen a bubble. You got the bubble pump pump uh, Bubbles in different liquids where you have water and then more of a 
thicker liquid like syrup or whatever they use see the bubble slowly going like a lava lamp um so that's that oh, oh, yo back then they also had in that section they used to have where you could just like touch something here and then you could see like the projector would make it grow like mountains and stuff like that or i, I forgot what it was but it was it was interactive it was really fun um so that's for now that's what they have is just bubbles in that section go to the eh, the really cool fun section the much bigger space is the one with the turtle and the sea and the sea stars and starfish sea stars sea star? starfish starfish i'm high i'm high and starfish and all the amoeba whatever they're called I'm, oh, i can't even think right Shit. this is so hard this is so hard wow wow anyway they have a couple of little fun games there they have a little jumping thing where you can jump and a video Video records you jump in in slow motion to show you how high that you jump because you got a little scale in the back. Um, I could jump pretty high, I think, for a white guy, you know. Uh, I think I got like to 35 inches or 40 inches. It was 42? Was it 42? It was 42. 32 or 42? I don't know. Anyways, I think it was 42. I talking about that they have the little spinny thing that i showed you guys earlier that i was on that for a while just trying to like do different things i managed to get the ball spinning in there too well, oh fuck y'all and then there was this one time that i got this that little round one to spin and it was so cool because it was spinning like three three it was, it was like going like and the second i pulled out my camera press record it's like you just fucked off i was like ah damn it um so that one's cool. They have the little ding, 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 ding. You got to put a ball in and then it just, you know, and then balls come out. Spinny thing, jump thing, make your own slow motion uh, video. You know, you just have a bunch of little, they have like two moose and a bear out there for now. And you just take a photo, move it, take a photo, move it, take a photo, move it, take a photo, you know, and still shots, still shots. And then you'll see, so I did that. I did that with my kids. Uh, my my youngest loved that. <laughs> and he was like, and he's like adding effects too. And it's like boom. He's like, I want the kaboom. I was like, oh cool. What else? Some little pod, electric jump thing, and that's it on that section. So let's leave that one and go to the next one, the last one. I'm high. I feel good. I feel good feel high in the head though went to the other section do i have time i do have time went to the other section and they have this cool volcano that if you just keep on tapping the red spots then it's gonna like you're building up pressure and it explodes it says that it's being repaired or it's under maintenance but it still works you got the of course they have the wax one it's just spin the wheel and wax comes down pours out uh earthquake one where you could like build something and then you just put click on whichever earth i'm high guys fuck this is hard and you click on whatever earthquake you want it to you know the movement and it'll do that what else um to see if your structure will will you know hold still i'm high damn we'll stand Whew, fuck i'm high mm. I'm high. I'm high. I'm high. Hi. Okay. There's a lot more. I forgot now. So go check out Anchorage Museum. It's hard for me to think right now. This is not fucking working right now. My brain's not functioning fully to how it should. <laughs> so actually, I'm going to say goodbye here. I should. Okay. I'm going to say goodbye because I'm high and I'm done. I'm set. I fly like a jet. I'm going to hit this. I'm going to shut the fuck up because I'm already at my... 30 minute mark, yay. Um, and what am I doing? I'm saying goodbye, that's right. I'm gonna hit this, I'm gonna say goodbye because I'm high, no. <sighs> Fuck, I can't get my mind right, shit. Okay, I'm high on this one. Just... Yo, I can't think right. 
I'm going to hit this. I'm going to shut the fuck up. Leave me, leave me a comment. Leave me a comment. Tell me, have you gone to the Anchorage Museum and what is your most favorite exhibit that you have experienced or one of those Discovery Zone, you know, exhibit interactive hands-on things? Which one's your favorite? Let me know. I'm high. I'm high. This is a good week. It's a good week. Till tomorrow. Goodbye. Stay high. Hit it with me. Hit it hard. Love. Peace. Chicken grease. Bye.